Tammy and Troy Renault look like any middle class couple. But someone else is living in what used to be their home. And almost everything they own is in storage. So this is everything from the house. Yes, it is. Now home for the Renaults and their four kids is a campsite, a tent, and a borrowed trailer. What happened? How did you wind up here? Well, it's, uh, I guess, economics 101, really. When Troy lost his job with a construction company and had trouble finding work on his own, the bills piled up and everything else came crashing down. You go from, do you pay your lights and water or do you pay the house payment and sit in the dark? And you had a house. How strange does this feel? Um, the first week when we first moved out, I conditioned my mind that I'm on vacation. That was four months ago. It costs about $85 a week to rent a space here, but even that's too much for some people. So far, the management has been flexible, telling us they believe they'll get what they're owed once people get back on their feet. How much of a community is here? Probably as much of a community as I've ever been a part of. A community bound by loss that's growing by the day. There are 116 campsites, and 85% of those filled are not folks here on holiday. For them, this has become a permanent home. As the economy got bad and everything, more people, families started moving in. Cindy Nunley lost her home when her husband lost his job. People don't understand unless they've been in this situation, really. You don't really understand. Yeah, there's days that make you feel very guilty. Guilty? Why guilty? Well, because you want your kids to have better than what you've had growing up. Pretty much the only thing the Renaults have not lost is their faith. We trust in the Lord. He's got a plan for our lives. For now, their plan is just to stick together and hope their luck gets better before the weather gets worse. Seth Doan, CBS News, Lebanon, Tennessee.